Hey there, honeys. It's Audra. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of classics and coffee. I get tea, which brings me into the very exciting news that today's video is actually sponsored by Swiss porcelain cookware and dinnerware, which I will get into later when we get to the tea portion of this unboxing. Before we get too deep into things, I would like to remind you that if you like the content that I create on Hey There Honey, please remember to like and subscribe. Also click the little bell icon so that you can be alerted whenever I upload a new video. So here we go. We're going to get into this awesome box. This will be my third coffee in a classic, tea in a classic. Um, coffee in a classic curates monthly classics of all kinds. You get a special edition of a classic novel and then a bunch of related items, including, depending on your choice, coffee, tea, or hot cocoa. I'm actually thinking about switching mine to hot cocoa just to try it out. So it comes in a black file box. Oh, you also get a mug. Now you can, you can choose not to get a mug if you have too many. I have too many, but I still get one. Here we go. I am unboxing this one. Ooh, Pride and Prejudice. I, to, to be perfectly honest, this is why I subscribed to this particular box because I knew that some of my favorites would be coming and I'm excited about getting some favorite classic swag and uh, the coffee mugs and the tea. I want to see what they do with that. So that is definitely why I subscribed to this box. I'm excited because I already have Wuthering Heights, uh, which is up there, and now I'm going to have Pride and Prejudice. So it comes with this little card, which will tell you, spoilers, what's in it, and explain that to you. So right on top is the tea, and we have Pride and Peppermint. Oh, I love peppermint tea, loose leaf tea. Pimply. That's so nice. Ooh, it's so elegant. That tea is from Adagio Teas. Then we have the snack which are lemon cookies. I love lemon flavored candies, cookies, drinks. I just, I'm a fan of, of lemon. So I am very happy to be getting to try these. I'm going to have those with the tea, which I will try today, by the way. Next, we have the Pride and Prejudice quote, um, stone coaster set. So this is absorbent. We have two coasters in here. And uh, they say the same thing, they say, I love you most ardently. So here they are for you to put your mug on. The second bookish item that is in this box is the frameable book cover. Cover, it is on um, pretty thick paper here, cardstock, and ready to frame. And the colors in that are soothing and inspiring. I really like this color of blue on here matches my shirt. How fun. So that's special and I think I will frame this when we get into the new house, whatever that may be. The bookmark for this month is the wood printed bookmark here. It says completely and perfectly and incandescently happy. We can all um, strive to be that happy at some point, even for just a few minutes of our lives. And then our mug. This nice blue with the pretty flower that matches some of the other art that's been on um, the items in this box. And the quote is, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Jane Austen. I hear you, Jane. So that mug is very nice, but that's not the mug that we're going to be using today to try the tea. So before we get to this month's edition of Pride and Prejudice, um, let's talk about Swiss dinnerware and cookware, which is today's sponsor. Um, I was really excited about these because they have very modern, simple colors, turquoise included. And my kitchen happens to be turquoise, or it was before we had to repaint it to sell the house. But all of my appliances are turquoise. I have a sort of retro um, theme going on. And they had this color in pretty much everything. There are bowls, there are much smaller mugs. These are actually, t I mean, they're mugs, but technically also bowls, soup bowls and 
cereal bowls, but I'm going to use it today to try the tea. Uh, and there's probably going to be coffee in it at some point because I just can't stop myself. Swiss products are made out of high quality porcelain that resist chipping and staining. They're microwave safe, they're dishwasher safe, and some of the products are even oven safe. So you can pop those puppies in the oven if you like to bake or if you want to heat something up. Um, I don't cook. No, I do not cook. My husband is the cook. I bake. Um, so I actually am going to be looking into some of their turquoise bakeware. They have other colors. Um, they have like a dark blue, they have white, they have some red. If you are any type of fan of retro colors like me, you're going to really appreciate this. They have butter dishes, they have baking dishes, they have cupcake dishes, they have bowls and mugs and knives and basically pretty much anything you could think that you would want in a kitchen and they're reasonably priced. You're not gonna be dropping $60 just for a set of mugs. So here we go, we're going to try our tea out. I have my little tea thing, which doesn't fit on the edge like it's supposed to because this is so big. I did this on purpose, by the way. They have smaller mugs, I promise. So that's just gonna sit right in there with our tea here, which I have, and my kettle. So let's open this up. Mmm, <laughs> that smell is just so comforting. Whether it's the middle of winter or, the, or summer, it doesn't matter, hot or cold. When I smell peppermint tea, it's just automatic cozy. So I poured some into my little tea cradle here. Pour the water, pour the water, pour the water. Lots of water, lots of water, lots of water, lots of tea. This is gonna keep me happy for a while. So now we have our tea steeping. We're gonna let that steep for a little. All right, we've steeped. Now I'm going to try it out. Mmm. So this is a very different peppermint taste for me. Um, it's not as strong as some of the other peppermint teas that I've had before, but what's so neat is that it's very specific peppermint flavor and it has a very specific memory tied to it. When I was growing up, there was this very, very fancy restaurant in um, my hometown that we would go to occasionally. My parents would occasionally want to go. and. Um, it was such a unique atmosphere. It was very dim, it was all brick. There were these little alcoves that everybody got to kind of like sequester themselves away in and their little candles on the table, which was new for me because, you know, in anymore, um, you can go to any restaurant and there's like a little candle on the table, but I hadn't really, growing up, you don't see that a lot. It was only at the fancy restaurants. So that was really special. And they had a wonderful homemade dressing, which we dipped crackers in. My little brother and I always dipped crackers into the homemade dressing um, as an appetizer. And they had Shirley Temples, which is the only time we ever got Shirley Temples was when we went to this place. And after dinner, when my parents went up to pay at the register, they had a bowl of mints, of soft mints. They weren't hard. And there was like a little spoon, thinking about it now, it was quite unsanitary. But you know, like a little spoon <laughs> that you could just dip in and get a couple of mints. And they just melted in your mouth. And I always looked forward to that piece right before we left. And this tea tastes just like those mints. Um, it's a very happy, happy memory, and I'm, I'm enjoying this tea a lot. So, on to the snacks. We know the tea was a success, so let's try these lemon cookies. Very thin, so you have an excuse to eat several. Oh, they're kind of, ooh. They're a little tough. So, oh. gentle lemon. Tastes like a shortbread cookie with a gentle lemon. Actually, tastes a little burnt. It doesn't look burnt, but that's what it tastes like. Tastes a little burnt. Ooh, and that's pretty hard. Oh. Wonder what lemon and peppermint tastes like. Probably okay. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. The tea is a 10 out of 10. The cookies, eh, a six, maybe. 
Six, yeah, six sounds about right. I need another one. Let's get to the book. This month's edition of Pride and Prejudice. Dun da da da! I am actually not 100% feeling this personally, just because it's kind of like this faux leather. It looks like a journal that a 12 year old might might want, which is kind of why I guess it's throwing me off. Um, but it is beautiful inside. And the print and the pages are very nice. And that famous line on the back, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. I feel kind of in the middle of the road with this particular edition. I wouldn't display it out in like, for example, my uh, dressing area. It doesn't have quite the right aesthetic, but I would put it with my other classics in the bookshelf. There's the side there. You know, I think what it is, I think what's throwing me is the faux leather. Um, that's what's making me potentially not in love. If this were a cloth bound book, a cloth cover, and it was this color, I think I would really, really like it. It would just give it a different, a little bit of a different dimension there. And uh, cause I like cloth cover books and I like pink cloth cover books. I have some that I enjoy. So I really think it's just this flexible faux leather that's um, not appealing to me, but I am very happy to have this edition and I can't wait to add it to the others. I think that this box was a win because I like the mug, I like the tea, I like the cookies, the cookies are pretty good. The bookmark, the print, the stone coasters, these are all cute and I will use them. I'll use them all. I, I mean, you can never have enough coasters. So thank you Coffee and Classic for curating another lovely box. And thank you Suisse for sponsoring today's video. I am actually going to go off and purchase a couple of their um, other turquoise items to add. And I'm just going to have to pack them away, but I mean, worth it. Thank you all for joining me today. In the next video, I am going to be doing a review of my very first Once Upon a Book Club book box from actually last month. There was a delay in the book boxes, so nobody got their box until um, until this month. So it's actually April's book box that I'm going to be um, reviewing in the next video. I am going to have the book read. I'm going to unwrap all the little surprises and do reactions to them as I go. So please join me for that. And until then, take care. Be well. Bye.